Hello, hello, hello. All right, we're back. Looks like we got sound. Hold on, I got an echo, echo, echo. <laughs> and now you should hear me. Perfect. <laughs> Let's start over. Welcome everybody. Welcome, this is the Gaming Joy channel and my name is Josh and we are continuing our stream from scratch series and so much so that we went from one map to the other and we moved. We moved everything. We moved all the stuff. And where we are now, we are in Comsden Farms. Welcome to Comsden. And we are kind of on the south end of the map right now. Our farm is up here to the north, kind of in the middle of the map. But look at this place. Look at these super huge fields. Lots of things to do. Lots of, we're going to start getting into some bigger equipment, hopefully. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But you know what? We've moved the equipment. But the moving company, they didn't want to deal with the animals. So they left it up to me. So now I have to finish unloading the animals. <laughs> and now we've got our three trucks. Should be a fourth truck. Where's the fourth truck? The fourth truck is almost already over at the cow pen and ready to start unloading. And so we're going to start unloading. So here we go, as you can see, we've got our cows here. And we're gonna unload them into the pen. So let's, let's how does this work? I've actually never done the unloading part. Delivery, F1, open animal dialogue, perfect. Get these 56 Holsteins. We only have four, move to husbandry. There we go. 52, move to husbandry. Yes. Okay. Awesome. And now we got cows. Let's look. Let's go check. Let's make sure. We got cows in our field. We don't have any food for our cows, but let's get the rest of the animals unloaded and then we'll work on some food. Now, I'll have to let you know, I did drive this this big rig here for the screenshot. We're starting right from where the screenshot was taken. And driving these big rigs in this town is, is tricky, to say the least. I mean, look at the side of these roads. This is ridiculous. And the hills are steep, so the, the, the big rig gets a little bit of, like... <laughs> speed from moving so fast I'm gonna drive up on the curb a little bit to get going this is ridiculous hold on I gotta get in cab to be able to see what I'm doing and so the moving company just wants us to leave these trucks parked in that same lot and they'll come pick them up once we're done but that's our first set of trucks. I don't know how I'm going to get into the pig or the cow area. Ugh. I don't want to think about that. The sheep area is going to be tough, too. Oh, this is not going to be fun. The cow area I can do, but <laughs> we still have to drop off the pigs. So, what we've done is, through the magic of some pretty intense XML editing... I have set up a new save game that has all of my equipment from my old save. So hypothetically, if everything fails today, we could potentially start a brand new save game and all the equipment will be in place, including all these animals ready to deliver. So we're ready to go with our new save. But this is Comsen. So... I was really excited for this map when it first got released in uh, months ago, months ago now, back in what, 
January, February. But I didn't want to play it because I knew that when I played this map, I wanted to play with all of the custom stuff that Oxygen David wanted to build into it. And I knew that he was planning, or I had read from his forums, that he was planning on adding stuff for precision farming. And once precision farming got released and his map got delayed and he had new crop types, I knew that that was going to be the point at which I wanted to join this map. So what we're going to be doing is we do have... Oh, I hope I left it turned on. Did I leave it turned on? Yes, it's turned on. So we do have precision farming turned on. Is this cows? Let's check. Yep, this is the rest of the cows. We do have precision farming turned on. We do have a couple fields already. Obviously, we have all the animal pastures so we can deliver our animals. And we have one or two fields, and that's about it. We're going to have to, just like we did before, build up from where we started. Now, the one thing I want to avoid a little bit more in this playthrough or this stream from scratch is I'm going to avoid falling down the contract hole. I had a bad habit in the last stream of... I think I spent, of those, of the total 23 episodes that we did on Old Stream Farm, I think I ended up spending probably about seven or eight of those episodes, if not more, just doing contracts. And specifically doing lots and lots of grass contracts. So we're not calling contracts as not going to happen, but if so, we're leaving it to one, one or two contracts at a time and never wasting time on the stream doing contracts unless it seems fun the big benefit now is that we used old stream tarn farm to build up our inventory uh, or rather our money and we left when we left old stream farm we had four million dollars we sold everything we got all of the stuff sold. We got all of that cloth that was left over from, I can't see anything, uh, from all the wool. We got all of that sold. Um, sold all the buildings, sold every, sold all of our custom stuff that we added, and sold all the fields. And at the end, we had $4 million. Now, if you're looking at it and you're wondering, well, you're now looking at $266,000. What happened to that $4 million? <laughs> well... We finally took the chance to get started and upgrade, get started right. So we started Old Stream Farm, we started with like three or four fields. And on this map, we're starting with a bunch of fields. So once we get pulled up at this cow barn, we're gonna check out what we have and I'll show you what we're starting with. And a lot of it was actually went into paying for all of the leasing fees for these trucks. I think we spent over 100K in the moving fees for these trucks. Actually, no, it wasn't 100K. It was probably about twenty-five dollars to $30,000, um, not just for the leasing fees of these trucks, but for the moving itself. So we did pay for the move. It didn't come for free. Oh, we're struggling up this hill with a full load of cows. And then we had to buy all the stuff here. And then we had to set things up the way we, some of which we had set up before. And then the other thing we did is, I don't know if you remember, that's not a, that's a, I need to pull up further before I start jackknife this thing. There we go. Oh, am I? I did that last time too. <laughs> this is not an easy turn. That big gas tank sitting there. Sorry. Focusing on reversing right now. Nope. Still running to the gas tank. <laughs> hey, Eric. What's going on? 
big rig equipment day is what we're doing. <laughs> All right, we gotta. How are we gonna do this? We just back straight in. Yet, yeah. come on. Nope. We're scraping the paint on this rental, <laughs> but we got him in. Move to husbandry. Done. Okay. Move. Yes. Okay. And there should be no no cows in the truck anymore. Good. Let's return this truck. What's going on, Eric? Welcome to the stream. Um, ooh. See what I mean? Like these tight lanes. We're going to have a problem with these tight lanes. I'm not used to these <laughs> one lane roads. So we're going to have to play it a little bit slower than usual. All right. Wait, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We were going to talk about the land. Let's look at our land screen real quick. All right. So we have everything in the immediate vicinity. So this extra space out here is the map. It's the free land of the map. It's, it's the extra space. Uh, it's open space. Most of it is not usable. There's only a few small pieces, um, including a secret field right here and then another secret field right here um, that we can use, but for the most part, yeah. Uh, it's just what comes in the map. And then we have to get the animal area. So this is the pigs. This, These two are for the horses. I think we're going to convert this one for the horses into a little bit more grass because we need a lot more grass to feed all of these animals. Uh, these two are both grass fields. This is a grass field, and this is for the sheep. This is the farm. This is next door to the farm, which is part of the interior area. We got two fields, two big fields. They're both ready to harvest, and the cow field. And that's it. Uh, and also, we own this. This came with the map also, which means we own the BGA from the start. We're going to use the BGA somewhat in the beginning to get to make some money, but I think we're actually going to upgrade and try to use the modular BGA. Uh, hoping to use the modular BGA and kind of upgrade how much money we're making from selling our silage. Um, we upgraded our pig food mixer to a different pig food mixer, uh, but that's about it. So now we got to get back and deliver the other two cows. Eric, I'm really sorry to hear about the fact that you're not only on vacation, but you broke a tooth. I mean, I'm not sorry about your vacation because everyone should take vacation. As a matter of fact, I'm taking vacation uh, next week. So I'm excited about that. Please hold on one second. Can't see. This is what happens when you uh, answer the phone while driving. What in the heck? I have no idea what happened here. Don't uh, talk on the phone and drive, <laughs> especially driving a big rig. <laughs> but yes, I'm planning on taking a vacation next week. I'm hoping to actually spend some of that time recording uh, videos. I really want to do a series. And I've been waiting for a long time to do a series. And I've been watching so many of you guys and your series is this is, is <laughs> um, that I really want to do one myself. Um, and so we're going to get hopefully get started. Um, that's the plan for next week. But yes, work is what just happened. Oh, low hanging branches. Note to self, stay in the middle of the road. Because Oxy does not want you driving through here with big trucks. So a special thanks to Oxygen and David for this new map. I'm very excited. Uh, I want to get into doing some of the special crops too. There's a linseed crop added. And to go with the linseed crop, I'm going to be adding a, a, a custom production of my own. And we'll have that production once I write it um, or fix it. But for the most part, we're going to 
play with the crops and play with all our animals. Our goal is not the same as before, and I think we're going to go back to the chat and back to you guys who are watching to see what the goal is for this map. We don't want to be on comms in forever, but we also going to have to have an end goal to reach. Um, we already have all of the animal pens, so there really isn't that. Hey, farming company. Hey, everyone in chat. Welcome to the chat. Um, our end goal for, for the last stream was getting all of the animal areas and also getting the money to get all the equipment we needed. And now we do have definitely have all the equipment. We'll check in on the equipment front later because we did get a few very cool things. All right. This is done. What is next? I believe these are the pigs. And then we'll do the sheep. Which is going to be harder, the pigs or the sheep? Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. The pigs is going to require a lot of backing up. And I think that there's some horse um, things in the way. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so we need to figure out what the end goal is. So number of fields, amount of money... Um, number of seasons, what have you. Uh, let me know in the chat what you think my end goal should comms it should be. And for that matter, if you think, can you think of another map that we can quote unquote move to, which does mean that it does, it will need to be a map in Europe or a European map of some kind to facilitate the logistics of moving with animals we may start a new series on in the u.s but for now we're sticking to the european map so if you know of a map coming out that you think would be a good next step let me know i do have addington park on my radar that one looks very good similar to this map as far as layout and fun things to do but again it hasn't been released yet so we don't know so yeah two things we gotta figure out what is going to be the end goal. We don't know yet. We're still getting started, but what's the end goal? And then where to next? But of course, we can talk about that later. Right now, we got to talk about <laughs> these huge Mack trucks on these little teeny tiny roads. This is ridiculous. Oh, I got a really break going down this hill because I'm getting a lot of speed from from the hill. All right, we're going to go out of cab for this part because this is going to be tricky. All right, I got to go through town past my house. <gasps> I just realized something. Oh no. Where I just realized the moving company forgot to deliver the horse. What are we going to do? We're going to have to call them. They must have taken it to the wrong location. <laughs> totally forgot about the horse. Uh, we're going to get through. We're going to get through. We just made it. I think we're going to hit this tree now. Oh, there we go. We got made it through. So we got to call the moving company about the horse. The horse should be here. Good old Night Terror. He's probably at someone else's farm right now. That's the other thing that I get used to. This map has a lot of gates. Like, a lot. And I don't have the mod to automatically open them yet. I'm planning on getting it though. There's too, excuse me, too many gates. Okay, let's open this one. Oh, you're gonna open this way. Okay, that's fine. You know what we're going to do? 
would not be cool. How are we going to get into this gate? Where's the trigger? I think the trigger's there. <laughs> We're not going to keep this riding arena. Um, not because it's it, honestly to me, all I see is a grass field <laughs> that needs to be mowed because we have too many animals. Um, so we're going to have to get rid of these riding equipments. Let's get rid of them now. So they don't, not in my way here. Remove horse field items. It's going to cost us $250 to remove them. So yes. Hey, CBW, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. We are delivering our animals to our new farm. And I've done my best to leave this, this map alone. Haven't messed with the textures. I didn't mess with the grass at all. I do know there are um, high res textures and we might upgrade to those before the next stream. But for the most part, I haven't edited the map. I moved a few small things around but I'm doing my best to leave the map alone. I think I added a gate somewhere, added a gate and a took down a couple hedges. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. So these are the pigs we took from our farm before. And I believe there's 50 pigs. Animal dialogue, please tell me the animal dialogue is here. Where's the animal dialogue? Oh, you know what? I think I moved the animal dialogue. Where is it? No, oh, oh I passed it. Animal dialogue's there. There it is. I backed up too far. All right, let's get the pigs out of here. No, 20. Move to husbandry. K. Move to husbandry. Yes. Now we do, as you can see, we have upgraded this to be the, to what the chat decided last time in all, Hey Rob, what's going on? Rabbit Rob. Welcome to the stream. The chat decided last time that we should have 100 chickens, 200 sheep, 400 pigs and a hundred and that's not right. Hold on. Well, so we're going to have. 100 chickens, 400 sheep, and 250 cows. And there's already 400 pigs on the map, so now we have 400 pigs. Um, we don't actually have 400 pigs, but I'm sure we will soon enough. And that's one more delivery. Oh, let's close the gate. I have to remember to close the gates. Not good at that. Welcome guys, welcome to the stream. And as you can see, here's the, the the pig pen, which is pretty much the way it was before. Uh, the only thing that was changed here is I moved the trough over here. Just because I wanted to. Another big rig to go through the field. I don't think we need to close the gate here because the sheep are gonna come in the other side. But we do need to figure out what happened to the horse. That's that's for another time. Keith, what is going on, Keith? Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you made it. I'm used to seeing you right bright and early, but um, we missed you the today. Biggie buds. Whoops. So we have to look in the chat. Biggie Buds beat you to the stream as the first one in. Not that it's a competition or anything. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. While I'm here, I'm going to open the door for the sheep pen.
Go away, deer. You got some sheep coming in. So our first me mode, um, not mode, our first item of business is going to be after we deliver the sheep and return the trucks is we need to feed the animals. We have, we brought pig food and we brought TMR with us from the other, from Old Stream Farm that got delivered as part of the, the package deal. But we did not get anything else. We need a gr What the heck? I have no idea what that was. Oh, look, the sound effect for the is going on the right volume level today. Nice. We're going to have to feed the sheep. Uh, sheep and... So we have food for the pigs. We have food for the cows. We need to feed the sheep. And we need to get chickens. Now, we sold all of our chickens because we didn't feel like delivering 100 chickens. We're just going to buy the chickens back to whatever the chicken pen holds. I kind of like driving down these country roads at 80, 90 miles an hour. It's, uh, especially in cab, it's entertaining, to say the least. Now, the one thing about comms in that is really interesting and I don't know if it's intentional or not but there are a bunch of hidden fields that you get kind of for free and it comes with a map so we're going to be using them because they come with a map but it's there's also a few fields that are just I don't know like you can see them and you can walk up to them but there's something blocking your access to these fields they look like normal fields but you just can't get into them. So there's a few secret fields that you can get into and use, and we're going to use them today. But there's also a few secret fields that you can't get into. Well, you can't yet. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I don't have to park in perfect straight lines like they did, do I? All right, here's the last one. And we have... A bunch of sheeps all just standing there. Hi, sheeps. They're all just, they're bored. <laughs> they're just standing there. Oh, Keith, you overdid it. That's not good. Well, I'm glad that you got stuff done. I'm glad you made it to the stream. Welcome, welcome. This will be the last truck you see a last time you see a Mack truck at this farm until we move from Comston, whenever that happens. So I've been doing my best not, not to play the map. I actually haven't played it at all. I haven't done any field work on this map. I've been in the Giants editor a little bit, and I've been setting up the farm, and that's it. So I don't even know where stuff is i don't even know where the store is i know where the bga is and that's it so we're going to be figuring out this map together if you guys have tips or tricks anything i should know please 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 let me know in the chat and don't forget this is on youtube so hit that like button let's get up to we have six likes so far let's see if we can get to like 10 that would be awesome I can't see when I'm in cow like that. All right. This is going to be the tough backing up proposition, which is going to take all of my CDL skills. Fun fact of the day. I actually did, did at one time, a couple, a couple years ago, have a CDL driver's license. A commercial driver's license, CDL. In the Massachusetts, it's called a CDL. We're going through town. Yeah, I used to drive. Oh, there's there's our dog. Your dog, get out of the road. Let's go say hi to the dog. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. 
We've never had a dog before. This is our dog. His name is uh, Frank. Hey, Frank. Frank, Frank, where are you going? I'm trying to pet you, dude. There you go. Oh, R for petting. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wish you could choose which kind of dog you'd have. I don't know what kind of dog I'd choose, but I don't know if I'd choose that type of dog. You since it's been so long since you're on this map, yeah. I I've been not necessarily cheating, but I've been doing my research and watching some uh, other people uh, who I admire doing a playthrough on this map. Um, I've been watching, uh, who's it? I've been watching Daggerwind's playthrough. His playthrough is pretty funny. And uh, I've been watching Squaw Scroft's two playthroughs. Whoops. No, we got to cut that faster. Um, two playthroughs on this map. One of which is a custom map, and he has this whole thing set up. If you haven't seen that, um, and somebody wants to put that link in the chat for Scroft's farmhand series, it's really good. He did this whole section. He customized this whole area of this map that I'll show you where it is in general vicinity after we drop off these, these sheep. I hope the town doesn't mind me driving over the grass a little bit. Because we've got some tight quarters here. Oh, there we go. Got the trigger. That's all I need. Uh, nope, it was 20. Move. Yes. Animals removed. Yes. Move. Yes. Sure. Four hundred sheep. I can't believe I agreed to that. There we go. There's our 100 sheep, and eventually we'll have more. <sighs> Can I cut this way? Yep. All right, we're going to bring the truck back, and we're all set. So, Scroft's Farmhand series, in case you didn't know, is playing on this piece of property right here to our right. Where is it? It's a little bit further up the corner. It's right here on the corner. So here, I'm going to get out and fly for a second. So his, far his farmhand series is playing up this driveway. And the only thing left, I think, is this shed and this building this is the house that he parks behind but everything else is custom so like over here in his series this whole area right here there's a barn there's an animal barn and sheds and then the field that he's the 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 quote unquote cow field that the cows are in is a combination of these two fields in some weird way with this wall being moved it's all on the hill it's crazy he did so much editing in this map to make that series happen it's it's amazing it's beyond me like i'll do a little tweaking come on tweaking here and there but yeah thank you and then dagger wins cobs is the other one so that one's been going on for a long time um he really loves this map and he may probably pull away from that as from my understanding a little bit because he's also doing adding to park right now with uh driver 100 um, but both of them are kind of playing this map the way it was intended to be played. And I, I plan on doing the same. Um, there's only very minor things that I've changed. And a lot of it's just to make it easier to play when we're streaming. Thank you, uh, Keith, for putting those links in.
But that's it for the research that I've been doing. Other than that, I haven't... Nothing. I haven't played at all. Most of the equipment that we moved here is still dirty from the last farm. <laughs> oh, that's right. We can talk about the equipment next. Yes. Alright, so... When we left our last farm... When we left Old Stream Farm... There was a bunch of equipment we sold... Knowing that we were going to be buying new equipment. And some of it is pretty obvious. Like we upgraded the fence 1042 to a 1050. Um, just a slightly different tractor. But we got one that has inappropriately large tires on it. <laughs> which is... Um, really bad for this map but we'll see how long it lasts because it's super fun uh we also got rid of the fent favorite 500 uh we may bring that map, that one back if we get the chance to play the italia map but we got rid of that one and we replaced it and here we are we're over the tractors so let's get some light in here we're over the farm this is our hangar of vehicles. We have four tractors now instead of three. We're going to be using a little bit more course play and auto drive and stuff like that as we get going in this in this series. But we've got... Are we still in flight mode? So sorry. F12. Turn it off. So we have our Fent favorite 1050. We upgraded the engine and we've got some big ass tires on here i love these tires it looks so badass but the problem is is you can't really drive this around this around town because it's wider than most of the streets <laughs> so we'll have to use the smaller tractors and and to do that we got two small tractors we got this cool one was the fent 516 which is actually a really nice little version of it i didn't have to customize that one at all it just came like that it's really nice a uh, nice little tractor and an even smaller one we got a fent 314 um which is going to be also i didn't have to customize that one at all and this is going to be used for smaller stuff carting things picking stuff up from the store whatnot and then we have this which came from the other map which is our fent 724. nothing new there let's see what else we got for equipment um in here in the vehicle workshop area come on open the door we still have our Unimog with its associated trailers. We are going to continue to use the Unimog and the associated trailers, except for the spreader. The spreader has to be upgraded. So actually, we should move um, so we don't forget. Let's move the spreader into the workshop because the spreader does not work with precision farming yet. So we do need to upgrade that. So that's going to have to go in the workshop and get upgraded. Hey, dog. <laughs> what else did we get? Let's go. Oh, we got a new trailer. So we got rid of the, um, the one we had before. And this is just a slightly different trailer. It's actually about the same size and about the same capacity. There is a larger version of this trailer that we can get in the same pack. Um, as you would know, or this is a, you'll never see this trailer anywhere else in anyone else's gameplay. Why? Because it doesn't come in black. If you're on my stream, it comes in black. Oh, all of them come in black. In here, nothing much. We moved the fuel tank to a different part of the map. And we got our stone crusher, except this time we actually upgraded the stone crusher to a different one that requires water. And isn't a 4x conversion on stones, which was a bit cheaty. So that's that. But that does mean we're going to have to cart some water a little bit. I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> I have to figure out where we're going to get water from. Uh, what else? Let's pretend that's not there. Um, this is all our equipment from the last playthrough. We got our cedars, planter, cultivator, and our stone picker. We got our plow, which for some reason is all weird. What are we doing? We'll fix that later. Um, we have our our corn header, 
Here, let's move this real quick. Move this real quick. It's like it's caught on something. Come on. Come on, stupid plow. Anyways. And we have a new harvester. So we ended up getting the... Um, again, not something you're ever going to see anywhere else because it doesn't exist. But this is a 9PL. Um, and as you can see, this 9PL has tracks. Why? Because I like tracks. I think the tracks are cool. And... That was one of the first upgrades I did to this harvester when I got it is give it the tracks. And it was actually, I had to, the funny thing about the tracks is Giants has code in place to remove the tracks. And all I had to do is remove their code that was set to remove the tracks to add them back in. So I didn't really add anything. I just removed something that was adding, removed. I don't know. I removed the removal so that now I have a positive. So a double negative positive. We're also going to be messing around and we haven't done anything with it yet. But the Honeybee Airflex um, headers. And I did get it without the air stuff. Because uh, I don't know what the air stuff does. I'm excited about it. And I'm excited. Yes, Keith, you're blue. You are admin. Thank you very much. Um we're excited about this because these headers are awesome and they have a really cool trailer thing, but I haven't played with them yet, so I don't know. <laughs> We're going to try that out together because we have some fields to harvest. And then, actually, just a little, and then the other thing we upgraded, we got, uh, we're going to have to actually, let's pull this out because we're going to sell this. Um, we still have a Ficon baler, but we're going to sell it. We're going to get a Fent baler. We have our... our trailer but we bought a new version of it this is the same i think the next bigger size but same one and we got a different loading wagon we have a fent tigo loading wagon and then the big thing the one thing that i've been waiting for waiting for for so long is upgrading our mowers yes we upgraded to a crone because we're going to be doing if we look at our map right and anyone else who knows he loves he does look good in the blue suit for sure Anyone who knows this map is there's a significant amount of grass around the farm. Now, we don't own most of it yet, but there's a significant amount of grass. And we have a significant number of cows and sheep who are all going to need grass. So we're going to have to complete switch shoes. <laughs> we're going to have to do lots of mowing. And I got tired of using those two little offset mowers. So we're going to do some mowing. And speaking of mowing, let's get started. Now this is also a custom version of the crone mower and we could do the extra cheaty way of mowing, but we're not going to right now. What we are going to do right now is go through our little shortcut that we created <laughs> and head over to the cow field. Can I make that corner? Yeah, I can. We're going to head over and mow the cow field. We're going to mow the sheep field. We're going to mow the pig field. We're going to mow the horse field. We're going to mow all those fields and then we'll probably plant some grass. in the pig area and where the riding equipment was just so we get some better yield than the grass that's currently there. Go. Come on, close the fence. There we go. Yep. It, well, that other mower, I mean, don't get me wrong, I get to use my tractors, and I like I to use that little mower, but... It didn't win row. Let's 
And the worst thing about the, the, the small mowers that drove, drove me crazy is that they missed a bunch when you're turning. Oh my gosh. Am I seeing something wrong here? Did you guys see this? Look at the ground texture. This ground texture is weird. I've never seen that that bright ground texture. I wonder if that's something that Oxygen David did custom for this map. I did hear that there was a bunch of custom ground textures. Again, I'm totally new to it, so no idea what's going on. But as you can see with the crone, we're going to make short work of this field and short work of these really hard angled corners. What the heck? That water trough is kind of in the way. I didn't know that was there. Huh. I'll have to move that. Put that on my to-do list to move it because it's in the way of us mowing. Ah, uh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, I forgot to... This mower isn't configured properly. It should have been configured with duels. <laughs> we'll get that sorted in just a minute. Sorry, cows, but all your brethren need food. Oop. Give me one second. I like that the fact that the ground texture is so bright because it really shows you when you've missed stuff. This new ground texture that Oxy added is really cool. I wonder if it's like this for all grass fields and not just this specific grass field. I guess we'll know when we start mowing the rest of them, right? But as you can see, with this mower and whatever width that it does mow, I think it's like 10 meters or something, um, we're making short work of this field. Short work. <laughs> A mower on the back of the go-kart. These are really, I like, I actually really like these textures. Um, I'm happy to see custom textures in any map, especially when they're done this well. Now, only one of these fields is a f actual field. I think it's the the one over here is an actual field. And so let's see if we can get course play to do a field for us. Let's see. I'll go back and close that gate in a minute. So field four, we should be able to do 
with course play. Let's try it. I've never tried it. We don't know if it's going to work. Oh my gosh, this thing barely fits through here. All right, uh, course play. Create job. Field four. Uh, open close. Two headlands. Where's the thing to... I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I have a... Course play. Expert mode activated. Vehicle. Pick up late, drop early. No tool offset. Okay. Back to course play. So if you guys haven't used course play before, it's pretty simple. You get to basically tell it how to do your whole field. Tell it how much to overlap on each row. Tell it when to pick up. And we're going to leave the field margin at zero. And I'm hoping it's not going to run any fences. We're going to leave it on smooth. And we're going to go generate. Did I click the wrong button? I clicked the wrong button. There we go. Back. Start job. That's not a very good starting spot. Let's see if it actually works to start. All right. We're going to let this thing do its job and see how well it does. You guys, do me a favor. Keep an eye on it. I'm going to be right back. I got to run downstairs and do something about quick. Be back in three minutes.
All right. What in the world is this thing doing? Why is it driving around the field in circles? <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. That's what you want to do? I guess that's what we're going to do. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. All right, never mind you. Let's let's let Courseplay do its thing. So let's look at our fields. We have field three and six. We should buy some precision farming. Purchase soil information. Yes. We're spending our money. Spending some money here. Yes. Um, we're going to have to, yes. Purchase, no, no, don't purchase that one. Purchase soil information, yes. Purchase, yes. Okay, for now, those are the only ones we're going to purchase. But, so we're at 57% for these. So if we harvest them right now at 57%, it's not going to do too well. Right? I don't really care about the grass field. We'll continue working on the grass field when the mowing's done. What we do need to do is number one, we need to go to town, sell a baler. Because we're going to get a square baler. But we're also. We don't want to use the round baler anymore. We're going to use a square baler. Because the main reason we had this round baler is for doing contracts, and we're not going to do contracts here. We're going to try to avoid them. Actually, you know what? Let's not change. I'm trying to decide. I think we're actually going to keep the the round baler for now, and we'll focus on the bailing in a minute. Now. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Where's the store? Does anyone know where the store is? I mean, I can look around, obviously, but is it south or is it east? I swear it's east. East. Selling station vehicles. That's where I want to go. Oh, it's right down the road. Nice. Not this road. But this road. So for the time being, we are going to drive down to the store because we don't really drive this. We don't really go to the store very often because we don't need too much stuff. We're going to go to the store and get two things. We're going to get a lime spreader, a lime slash fertilizer spreader. And we're actually going to I actually tested this out with on another field, another map, it should work. But if we customize this vehicle with crop tires, we can actually spread lime and fertilizer on the already <laughs> fully grown field. As long as we do it before we harvest, we'll get the full bonus of doing it, which will bring our score up when we harvest. Now, I've tested this once. As far as I know, it works. Too hot for coffee. That's a good idea. Co coffee. I got iced coffee. Too hot for coffee. But as far as I know, it works. If you'd actually do on a brand new save, brand new map, you purchase the soil information, and then you do your lime spreading, fertilizing, and or... Um, herbicide spraying you get credit for it so this is gonna stay here let's go here so now we know where the store is great nope wrong button we're gonna buy we're gonna buy first letter better 
We're gonna buy an Amazon one, and of course we're gonna get it in black. And we're not gonna buy it though. Should we buy it? How much is it? 66. Narrow tires. Let's buy it. Sixty. The one that I want to hold on. Let's actually go back. We want to actually go to sprayers. Where are the sprayers? And we want this. And we want the big daddy. Forty. Wheels, narrow, spot spraying, yes. This is one we have to buy. It's 20, 126. Yes, we are buying this one because we're doing precision farming. We also want to buy the spreader. I'm, I'm sorry. I know I was actually about to get a headache because I'm not I don't have the shades on. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of big biggie buds. It um if I don't wear them, it actually causes problems. So it's a good call out that you we have 91k. We're not getting any money anytime soon, so we're just gonna lease this for now. Because we're almost out of money. The one we did need to buy was the spreader, the sprayer. All right. Okay, let's go over and do the southern field first, and then we'll get the other tractor to come over here and get a sprayer. Oops. Um, first, I did this on my other playthrough, totally forgot to put the road tires on the tractor. Customized. I like how BKT only has wide tires. Twin, no. Rear, no. That's fine, customize. Yes. Hey Ian, what's going on? I'm sorry I missed the um missed the play tonight. We are setting up for Comson. As you can see, we're in Comson. And we're about to have some fun glitching precision farming <laughs> to work for us. All right, so lime first, then fertilizer. So we got to head back to the farm and get this going in one field. Get the spot spraying going in another field. I guess it's funny how that trailer tires for the... Oh, you know what? Those don't look like narrows. Those narrows... They're not, are they? Hold on. I'm going to be angry if I just lease that with the wrong tires. I think I just leased it with the wrong tires. Crap. Turn. I don't want to get charged for these. Back to the store. Those are like the littlest <laughs> narrow tires I've ever seen. Alright, let's go 
Go back to the fertilizer spreader and this time let's lease it with narrows. Narrow tires. They don't even look like narrow tires. What the heck? All right, I have narrow tires. Don't let me think that I don't. Nice. Nice. I just don't want to damage the crops because I'm going to need those crops to feed the animals. Yeah, those don't look like narrows, but I'm going to call them narrows for now. Yeah, the tractor has proper narrows, but look at the narrows on the trailer. Those are not narrows. Those are huge. But I mean, if the game thinks that they're narrows, that's all that really matters because all I care about is that the game does what it's supposed to do. Now, it's very strange that there's two fields here that don't have anything in them, and it's in August. Like, we're in the middle of August. Well, shouldn't those have crops in them? That's just strange. I mean, if we look at the map, the one on the right has is supposed to have canola in it. It's growing. And the one on the left is supposed to be cultivated. Okay. So that one has that one has canola in it. it must be first growth stage. All right, I don't even know if this would work, but I'm going to try. Because with precision farming, our score is our money. And so if we don't do the work to get up, get the score to go up, we're not going to have the money to keep going. Okay. So this is one of the only other places that I changed. This is our forage depot we had from our last one. And this is just a fill point for stuff that we don't have yet, like lime. Because we haven't been able to pick any rocks because we haven't gone that far yet. So we need to buy the lime for now. Luckily, we have a nice cheap sell point for lime on our farm. All right, no crop damage, no crop, it's like I'm doing the Noid thing again. No whammies, no whammies, no crop damage, no crop damage. There we go, perfect. All right, you are gonna do this. Great job, perfect. I already did that. Open, close, one headland, have fun, generate. I don't really care. Back, start job. Perfect. I don't know what that spinny thing is. Um, just pretend it's not there. One more store. One more truck to go to the store or tractor. Mower's done. Look at that. We don't have a baler yet, so we can't do anything with that grass. We're going to have to make some money to get that baler working. To get a baler. Yeah, I mean, it, it, well, it's, it's canola, so... On that that farm that we're one that field we're wondering about, and canola can be planted right now, right? Yeah, it can be 
planted right now. So it's probably planted today. Now, it looks weird because this has a custom growth calendar. Not my growth calendar, mind you. I didn't change this growth calendar. This is Oxy's growth calendar, which is a UK Geo. So I have to get used to the growth schedules and whatnot on this map because it's not what I'm used to. No, I so Ian, I didn't go I didn't go all black. I brought most of my equipment with me. So we we actually brought over almost all the equipment we brought over from the other map. And one of the few things that we are not going all black with is this this sprayer. But only because it's precision farming and I haven't had a chance to update it yet to be black. But we can always give it a paint job later. Yeah, I heard that. He created the custom Geo. Yep. Oh. I forgot to turn that on. Like, you really have to be in cab on these roads. Like, you can't drive above the cab, and I usually like to drive in third person. But for these roads, you really need the in cab driving. It's just, it's, the cramp, quarters are too cramped, cramped. Okay, sneak in our, our farm this way. And then this one, I'm gonna come over here to this one. While it's filling up, we're gonna put narrows on this one. And this is going to do this field. So course play, create job. Yep. Open course play generator. One headland. Generate. Go. Start. Have fun. Deal with the mower in a minute. This guy was where? Right here? We're running out of money, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm finding that Keith cab view is just, it's going to have to be that way. What is that piece? That's <sighs> do I have to fix everything. Okay. What was done so far? Where's the course play course? He was like right here. I see it. He 
he's going around and not spraying. That's okay. All we need is credit for spraying. So if we not spray, at least we get credit for spraying. <laughs> um, let's pick up some grass. Since those guys are busy. Or actually... Can our forage wagon take cow TMR? I think forage wagons can take TMR, can't they? Okay. Um, let's look and see if this takes TMR because we need to give the cows some food. Um... It's a sea of black. It's just the way I like it. No TMR on this thing. Um, okay. I'm gonna get the other trailer then. Change my field of view to 75. Why would I do that, Ian? Um, I, I'm happy to do that, but I'm kind of used to this field of view, so I'm wondering why you'd want me to change to 75. Oh, in cab. Is there a way to switch in cab field of view and not switch the entire field of view? That would be cool. Is that a setting? I don't see it. Camera, sensitivity, infert, Y look, vehicle camera. I think it's in my main game settings. Ian, and then I'm have to, I'd have to exit the game to get there, so I'm not going to do that right now. But thank you very much for the suggestion. I will check the field of view as soon as I can. Oh, I can do it in easy dev? Um, how? Set POV angle. Set 70? Oh. Is that a little bit wider? How does that look on stream? Does that look okay on stream? It looks the same to me. Really? I hate these triggers. They're so close. You have to be really close to get the trigger to go. Oh, look, this is like a realistically sized trailer. I didn't know I had any of those. All right, time to feed the cows. Oh, we're gonna have to get a different trailer for this. Look at this, it's hitting the ceiling. I'll work on that for next time. I do have a couple forage wagon kind of trailers that I'd like to use. It's a really good Roberts pack that I act I downloaded but I have not activated yet. So I can use it just fill the forage the right way. Uh, but let's just get a little bit of food in their hands and then we'll come back. How is the jobs going? 
he done? This guy is not done. He is done. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Nice. Okay. Lime done on this field. Yeah, I, that's right, Ian. I could use a push trailer. I could also use a like a forage mixer wagon. But those have a limited capacity. One that has, or I could use a wagon that has side dump. Um, I just don't have anything re ready to go, so I'll look in that off stream. Horse play, go back up here where you're supposed to be. I am liking this map. I do understand that for m that one of the things that I guess I'm not super liking, but is part of the challenge for me is these tight quarters. But, you know. How's the herbicide going? He's still going. Let's do this. We're going to back up over here. Unload. And then we're going to get fertilizer. I may have had my field of view set incorrectly for some unknown reason. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go do the same course over again. We haven't changed the course. We're going to go to first waypoint. Go. And now we're going to fertilize the field. And what we're doing from how I understand it so far is we're in this field 57 if you see it the ph is much better because we limed it nitrogen is going to be better look at this if we go back to this it's going to be green so it was red it's going to be green so it's putting down a ton of fertilizer but it'll be green and then when we harvest it we'll actually get a good yield And this guy is giving us our bonus for having um, spot sprayed, even though there's nothing to spot spray. <laughs> and it's just big enough in this barn to make a Yui. Look at that. So the game, oh, sorry, so I'm understanding it from understanding chat correctly. The game is normally in 70 degrees and maybe I was set wrong and didn't realize it. Is that correct? Hmm. I mean, it looks okay. Looks okay to me. I'm enjoying these new tractors. This is the the 500 series tractor. Or no, this is the 700. This is my old tractor. All right. I'll catch you later, Ian. I might uh, pick your brain later for how to upgrade that um, fertilizer spreader to precision farming. Look at my truck doing a wheelie.
All right, we're going to pick up the grass. The cows have enough food for an hour or two. Let's go pick up the grass because we have to feed the other animals. Maybe. I mean, it looks good to me, honestly. Um, the game looks good to me right now, so whatever the setting 70 is, it looks good. So I'm fine with it. Ooh, we should sell the wind rower because we're not going to use it anymore. And we should get the little one. Can I make this corner? Yep. Oh, look at this thing. I love this trailer. It's such a cool looking trailer. It's so different than everything else we have. I think the angles of it are pretty cool. It's also a little bit bigger than our last one. And I didn't even edit it. It just came like this. I would usually approach a trailer like this by editing it and making it do what I want it to do. But for this one, I didn't have to do much. I think I fixed the color. I think that's it. And added a Unreal capacity. Other than that, it looks beautiful. I am enjoying this grass texture. It's, it's pretty cool. I will have to check out the custom textures that you can potentially get from Oxygen David's Discord. Because when comparing the custom textures on the new Italian map, like the HD textures with the standard textures, it looks so much better with the HD textures. It really, really does. And from my perspective, I think that like even with maps like that, like if you pay for the HD textures, you're getting the map the way the map author wants it to be played. And the low res is usually not the what they wanted, how they want it to be played. They want people to upgrade and use the best resolution possible. Okay, you guys are in the way. Sorry. Beep beep. Upgrade the spreader. Well, I, that's the idea, I think. Um, the I still want to use the fertilizer spreader we're using, but I'm probably only going to use the lime spreader attachment um, because with the cows, and the one thing we didn't do in the last playthrough, and the one thing I promised that I was going to do in this one is try to use more natural spreading fertilizer stuff like that so I'd I want to be able to use slurry and or digestate um and we're gonna obviously have to make a little bit of money before we can do that but I'd like to be able to use slurry and digestate as fertilizer and that's gonna require new equipment so for now we'll still use the regular fertilizer but even especially for stuff like grass I want to be able to put slurry or digest it on the grass and the cows are giving it to us for free why not but when I say upgrade them I mean actually writing the code to upgrade the spreader that I have to work with precision farming that's what I mean because the spreader that I have not the one that's being used on the field but the one that's in uh on the Unimog is something that custom that I've put together. So I have full control over how it works, which is the benefit of using your own mods.
And once we harvest that field, we're going to have to... Also, take the straw into the cows. Because the cows are going to need the straw. So that the manure heap works as expected. So speaking of mowing, did everyone see the... Uh, that... Um, 82 Studios finally got his zero turn mower on Mod Hub. That's pretty exciting. It's too small for me, but I think a lot of people will like it. The zero turn mower, that idea, is probably one of the few things that's in game that I've actually used in real life. <laughs> so I'm definitely not a farmer. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Keith. My, my concern with the fertilizer spreader and it spreading is I'm not sure if it's going to need to be be able to turn on the automatic sensing stuff, but I'm not sure. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Off to the other field, and then we're gonna. F Whoops, that's not the right way. We still have to mow the sheep field. I wonder if horse play can do that. I bet it can. Oh, interesting. I'll have to try it. I mean, I rented that one. I mean, the other thing is, is that the my current spreader is oh, this thing's struggling. Oh, I know why it's struggling. Look at those rear wheels. Come on, game. You don't need to turn the rear wheels at 45 degrees. It doesn't make it easier to back up, it makes it harder. I mean, look at that. Look at that stupid rear wheel. Look at that. Look how, how much is turning. Why is it turning at freaking 45 degrees? <sighs> Sorry about that. Hey, Ryan, Lynn, what's going on? Whoa. Oh, just made it. Just made it in. We 
got to feed the sheeps. We're going to need a water tanker to give them water. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do on this new farm. We're not going to have enough time to do it all today, but we'll get it going. Is this the food? Which one's the food? There it is. Look at the sheep come running. I have a sheep inside the bin. <laughs> Look at him up there. <laughs> that was good. Alright, this trailer's making me angry. That recycling box there is kind of in a bad position. That's okay. We'll get through it. much. Alright. This is going, and this is going well. This needed some help take out the trees no no I'm not taking well I'm not taking out many trees I was actually looking and there's a forestry area on this map that I didn't know about um, and we might actually try that out at some point, um, but that will be when we take out trees. Let's go over to the cow, the sheep field and see if we can get coarse play to mow it. And then we'll have to switch over the sprayer and the fertilizer spreader and get all that stuff going. And then we can harvest. We're almost ready to harvest. Do you guys hear that? It's exciting. We have to use that new header. I'm excited. New header, new harvester. Both of those are exciting. Let's do... Let's see how well course play does. Course play, clear current course. Great job. Go position here. That looks fine. Two headlands, yep. Back. Escape, escape. I should have unfolded that close to the wall.
I'm going to do this section because Horseplay is not going to want to do it. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go nearest waypoint. Go. And then we're going to move on. So we finished this field. <laughs> this field's almost ready to be harvested. It's nice and green. And then when we harvest it, we'll get our, our score to come up. Is crossplay a good thing to download? Exactly. That's the one thing that I really wish this game would do better at, honestly. Keith is if you're setting up fields for grazing for the animals then the animals should be able to graze in those fields like it's silly that they don't it really is uh, that one I'm gonna save sorry menus field six uh, create new folder Six. Save course. Activate. Activate. F O six. Clear current course. Great job, field, open, one headland, generate, good, start, What are you doing? Dummy. Where's the start? Must be down there. Go. Turn that off. And let's go into here. And so now we're going to take this over to the other field and do the same thing in the other field. And the hope is that we'll have a pretty dang good score right off the bat as soon as we harvest. That's the hope. This is field three. Horse play. Create new folder. F O three. Save course. Activate. How's everyone doing in chat? Are we enjoying calms in so far? Enjoying my trials and tribulations and getting into new fields? <laughs> I'm trying. We're going to get the harvester going as soon as we can. Um, 
It's going to take a bit. Great job. No position. I wish when you clear a course, it would clear the target position also. I wish that would happen. That's not something that happens currently. I wish it was. Back. Tractor. Early late. Where's the other waypoint? First waypoint. It's right over here. Okay, there we go. That guy's going. The other guy's going. We're going. Collecting grass. So the one thing we don't have for collecting grass that I've been using a lot lately is the rake on the front. Now, if we're since we're now using a mower that windrows, we don't need a huge nine meter rake. All we need is the rake that kind of makes sure that the pickup, the pickup wagon can pick up what it needs to pick up. So we'll probably switch over to the Samaz twist um, for our front of our tractor rake. And which will allow us to not only it takes less horsepower, but it doesn't hit things as easy and will just allow us to be a little bit less precise when we're going around picking up this grass. Now, we're not going to pick up everything and all the grass everywhere in the loading wagon. We're just doing it here because we're using it to feed the sheep right away because they need to eat. But eventually we're going to switch over to a large baler and use a large baler for picking up said windrows. But for now, this is what we got. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, every time I watch somebody stream, whether it's it, anybody, I always pick something up, pick something, a little something up here, whether it's a piece of equipment that I think would be fun to fun to use, or whether it's a new tactic or keybind or something or hotkey or as tonight we did tonight uh, that field of view thing, like I'm always picking up new things. Now I'm not a seasoned player. I've never played previous versions of the game. Um, I just started on 22, and I just started when everyone else started 22, which is back in December. Um, and even that, I didn't play it when it first came out. I played, I started playing about, I think, three or four weeks after release. So I'm still new to the game. That said, I, I, you know, I pick it up pretty quickly because it's fun. And as you can see from the fact that I stream this every week, I love this game as much as you guys do. So if I could stream I'd, more, I would, but, you know, real life, job, family. That all comes first. I gotta add to my list. This trailer is rear articulated wheels need to calm the F down. <laughs> they turn way too much. <laughs> this is too much. And it's a set it's gotta be a setting in the XML somewhere. I don't know where that setting is, but it's gotta be. You 
You know who we're missing tonight? We're missing Fanatic Farmer. No um, weird, crazy questions. Hope he's okay. I am loving this map so far, though. I love the fact that it's big and open, has these big open fields. And I love that even though we have, I think we have way more land than we had on Old Stream Farm, even with a very few number of fields, all of those fields are bigger. They're more, they're wider open. Um, we do still get a lot of the rolling hill nature that I really like. That's uh, definitely something that I enjoy with with any map. I don't really like the super flat maps. Um, I've played on them here and there. I played Frankenmuth for a whole month, every day for a whole month, for the for a challenge, and that was almost torture, honestly, because it was so flat and so boring there's nothing to do and then they had ditches everywhere and the ditches were super annoying oh my god i didn't like that map at all but that's a preference i mean some people do some people really like it personally i like I like a map with a lot of contours and hills this one doesn't have very many but the ones it does um make the game challenging there's a few hills that you when you're if you're pulling a trailer it's fully loaded up that hill. You're going to have a hard time getting up that hill. Wow, this trailer's almost full. Oh, shoot. I didn't add the silage additive. Well, that's silly. Could have gotten 5% more. And the next one we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the chickens um, and we're going to have to harvest the wheat to be able to feed the chickens. So we won't harvest the, we won't get the chickens until we have the money to feed the, or the food to feed them. And it looks like fertilizer spreading is still going on as is the herbicide spreading. So that is hopefully going to be successful. I'm hoping to start off the game with a nice, nice high precision farming score. Now here is something I don't know if is going to work. I think that if I back right up to this wall, because the trough is on the other side, I'm going to be able to empty into it. I don't know for sure. <sighs> I am. Look at that. <laughs> right over the wall. <laughs> Is it full? Really? That's surprising. Hold on. Hold, please. Where's the animals? Animal pigs don't have any food. They're hungry. They have 96,000 liters, so they're good. This tractor is struggling a little bit. Um, I think it's because this trailer has so much capacity that this tractor is a little underpowered for the unreal capacity of this trailer. We can fix that, obviously, should we choose to. Mower's done. <laughs> Got your friends in there. Got up to eight likes. We're doing good. We're almost at 10. That was our goal at 10.
lines going across the screen? That's not me. But those lines going across the screen might be problematic. Is it like a Windows, like a crash error, or is it just lines? That's kind of weird. Hundred percent. Now we had to drive this across town. This is the part I'm not really set up for yet. Which is we haven't set up auto drive yet, so we don't have routes set up to let the workers do this for me. We'll be setting up those routes off stream, but I'll show you how they work when we get it working. Yeah, see that cornering thing? It's trying to cut out. Like, I'm trying to swing wide on the corners. But, like, the trailer is, like, trying to swing wide for me. And it's causing me to not... Maybe overheated, yeah. Maybe. We shall find out. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get out and close this gate before I forget. Now, this cut ground. Oh, yeah, there's still grass there. Cool. These are really awesome textures. I know that he did work to get these grass textures to be just right. Now we're only doing this kind of I don't wouldn't I don't know if you want to call it cheaty but we're only doing this kind of cheaty method of fertilizing and spot treating the fields right now because it's the first day of gameplay. We won't continue doing that going forward. Going forward we'll do it properly when the field the fields have not grown yet. But for now this is what we're doing. Whoop, whoop. And that needs to be changed too. Wow, that takes forever to unload, huh? Welcome to the stream. I see the, the viewers jumping in, but thank you for jumping in. I'm glad everyone is, is here and having fun. Thank you for coming along with me, my new adventure on a new map. We're, I'm really enjoying this map so far. I think it looks beautiful. I'm obviously struggling a little bit, as you can see, with the very tight roads and corners, but I think that's half the fun of this map is kind of adapting your gameplay to new surroundings. I think that's half the fun. Just my luck. Two days old. Oh my goodness. That's um that's a bummer. All right, we are going to pause on the grass collection and get ready for harvest. All 
Oh, look at that. 47 liters. It's so small. That's just... We're just gonna... Is that fertilizer? Can I get rid of that? I can't get rid of that. What is that stupid spinny thing? Like this isn't even like a modded tractor. It's just a base game, a modded vehicle. It's just a base game vehicle. All right, whatever. I'm going to leave that there. Just for now. And then we're going to come over here and fill up with lime. And then we're going to lime that field. Let's go back to our menu. And let me see if I can remember where the start point is for that course. The other end of the field. Probably gonna have to fill up twice with lime here in this field. This is pretty big. No, I turned, I think I turned the info panels off when I was making the screenshot earlier. Let's turn info. There it is. Nitrogen. Perfect. There we go. This one's done and we can go start harvesting this field. Yay. Uh, where should this go? Let's put this over by the lime. So our first new piece of equipment for doing something new. Like everything else has been just upgrading equipment we already had to something slightly different. This is our first completely net new piece of equipment. Because we've never done precision farming stuff before. Okay, that goes, now it's time to harvest. We get to use the new harvester. Yes, we have enough time. I was really hoping we'd have enough time for the new harvester tonight. The grass can wait. New harvester needs to be done now. Here we go. We're gonna have to swing through the field, I think. Because this thing is so big. Look at this header. This isn't even the biggest one. This is like the medium size one. We could go bigger. But I don't think bigger is appropriate for Comston. I think this is about as big as is appropriate. Okay. 
All right. Um. Hmm. We have row crop tires, so we shouldn't damage the field. Why are we damaging the field? Are you telling me these little teeny tiny header trailer things are damaging the crop? Well, that's a bug. Nitrogen perfect, pH perfect. Great. That's good news. Can we back this out of here? That's the question. No. Whoop, whoop, no. It's like our biggest shed, but it's also like the, sm it's also the smallest, the smallest doorway. The doorway needs to be twice as wide. <laughs> Come on. Whoops. Holy cut that corner. Now it still has the card on it. Okay, how do I take the card off? Um G Q. Okay. Okay, we're trying to figure out this how this new header thing works. Hmm. I think you have to go the other way for the, the other cart, don't I? Those little teeny tiny tires should not damage crops. I'm sorry. That's totally a bug. Zoom in so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. We got our cart. Let's leave the cart here. No. Nope. Let's go get our trailer. Where did I leave the trailer? Oh, it's right there. I just drove past it. <laughs> Can't stand these tires. Hold on.
Okay, we got our cart ready. Harvester's ready. Unfold. We don't have to unfold the header. Unfold the harvester. This will be my first time using this harvester out of t outside of testing. And I've never used this header. Oh, that's super cool. It has like conveyor conveyor belt thingies. That's super awesome. Um, create job. Open course play. Two headers should be fine. Fifteen percent overlap. Sharp field margin generate back. Hold on, where's the vehicle? I just I always have to change these. I want to change these so it's always raise tools late, lower tools early. I want to save that to be like permanent for all of my vehicles. I don't know how to do that. And first waypoint, go. That looks good. It's creating an awful lot of straw. Oh, what's our per, what's our precision farming score? Did did my my trick work? Uh, how do you get rid of this thing? Click on the field. Environmental score sixty two. Okay, still hasn't updated. So hopefully it'll go up. I'm getting good yield though. Really, really good yield. Yield potential 125%. Perfect. I'm sure this other one is going to be out of line by now. Where are you? Open this gate. Never close it again. Josh doesn't like gates. We will redo this fertilizer spreader if we're going to continue using it. Is that a bird? It's driving hella fast, or flying hella fast. Oh, 
Hopefully that after this first coat of lime, it's not going to take as much lime each time. Because this is expensive. There we go. Nearest waypoint. Go. Spread. Perfect. That's working. Working good. Customize. Oh. I guess it's not finished. What's we, what are we harvesting here? Is this wheat or barley? What does it say? Soil loam. Wheat. Now, if we get this wheat, we can feed chickens wheat, right? Where's the help? Help. Farming basics. Animals, types. Chickens, wheat, barley, and sorghum. I thought I had speed sync on here. All right, we're taking this over to get our chickens. So now we should have more than enough food ready to feed the chickens. And we're going to go get our chickens. We had we had something like 60 chickens on the last map. Wasn't very much. This new map, I believe, has 100 to 200 chickens. I don't remember exactly what the number is, but it's a lot. Coming in here. This is where the horses are going to go once they we figure out where they are. Perfect. Filled that trough up with food, which I'm surprised they let us do do without having animals yet. It's okay. Chickens. Two hundred chickens. Bye. Yes. Yes. No. Really? I just wasted a whole ton of money. And now we got chickens. Yay!
give us some more wheat. And how much is that pen hold? That pen holds 180 chickens, 20,000 liters. Okay. Let's see how long 20,000 liters lasts 200 chickens. Next, we got to feed the pigs. Keep an eye on that harvester in the top window, but I think he's going to be good. Pig food's right there. We also have pig food in the silo here, the farm silo. So we brought over 180,000 liters and only 80 of it fit into our new pig food production. So we had to get, we had to put some of it in the farm silo for now. That's fine. Now this farm style is going to be fun to get used to, being that it's definitely a back in. But these rolling trailers are pretty easy to back up. Oh wait, that's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to get pig food. Well, because we have to feed the pigs. And then we also need to get a water tanker. Because both the sheep and the pigs require water. I already have one picked out though. Wait, that's not... Okay, we'll go around this way. Fine, I won't go that way. <laughs> Didn't make it anyways. Let's go get some pig food. It's kind of in the way, isn't it? So much stuff going on, the, the lawnmower's been sitting there done. Pig food. Start. Where are you there? The liming is still going on, but then once the liming is done, we can harvest this field, and this is going to be barley. And then we got to get a baler. We're going to have to lease the baler initially because we don't have enough money to buy one. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is, being that we're, we have so much new equipment and new stuff that we didn't have enough money to get the baler to. We could do round bales, I guess. That would be probably the better thing than leasing. Let's do that. Let's use round bales. Let's sell most of the straw. And use that to buy a square biller. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, I can see on the mini map where I stopped. That's super handy. Like I can look, just look down the mini map because I see the color green change. That's super ha whoa. handy. And if I go here and just go start. There we go. Brilliant. This guy, I'm gonna go deliver some pig food. I don't know how much it's gonna take. 
a new silo to us, so we don't know if it's going to fit all that we have here. We're going to hit those little things look on the ground all the time. I know it. And this sheep pen, the mowing was good, but it also left a lot to be desired. There's a lot around the edges that just didn't get picked up. So I mean, that's going to be our goal for the next time is figure out that and then plant some grass in the pig area and this horse area, these two horse areas, both of them need new grass, need rich grass. And here we go. We're going to head over here and feed the uh, pigs. All right, we're finishing up pig food to the... Look at that. Look at the pigs come running. Like super fast running. How full is that? Because we got 400 pigs, so I need to make sure we're giving them enough food. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to do two more trips. So that extra 100K we, we thought we had, we definitely don't have because it's all gonna go to the pigs. Harvester is still going. Even with that harvester is we're going to need a better trailer for that harvester. We may dump all of that in the other silo. Because the harvester can just drive right up to the silo and just empty out. And I'm probably going to change the capacity on this, that harvester. It's just it's too much. It's completely unrealistic. Tank is empty. We're out of lime again. In the amount of time it took to deliver one load of pig food, we're out of lime. And then next time... Next time we'll get out the big tractor, the new 1050, and start plowing and harvesting and stuff. Or plowing and... Yeah, there's something glitched with this spreader. Totally. But it's a lease, so we don't care. It's getting returned. Oh, hey, 5Gen. What's going on? Thanks for dropping into the chat. Thanks for dropping into the stream. We're actually having fun on Calm's in. We are not an old stream farm anymore. Our old stream farm days are over. We are now on Calm's in. We are starting out our new farm. And today we are literally still in the first day. It's 1.15. And we are trying to get these first two crops out of the ground. And mow a whole bunch of grass so that we can 
feed our animals. That's what we're doing today. And right now we're still working on the first round of food for the animals. We have to do like this and then that. First round of food for the animals. And then we have to get water for the animals too. Right now we're using two out of three tractors to do those things. We have a fourth tractor that can probably help, but... Oh, you know what? We can use the water tanker for the other tractor. Okay. So we'll use the Unimog to get the water for the first round for the things. And then we, we, we wanted to get an actual dedicated water tanker. that has a little bit more capacity than the Unimog. Not necessarily like the full, you know unreal capacity or crazy capacity but something a little bit less realistic <laughs> um and we're looking at this one um we're not we're looking at a modded version of this one which is not loaded yes it is it's right here so this is that's it Ten thousand. Oh, i was hoping it, hoping it did more See, ours does 8, and this does 10. That's not really much of an add-on. Maybe we'll do it. I like to look at that tr that water trailer, because it looks really like a water trailer. But we'll see if we actually use it. <laughs> Fat figures, yeah. You get that all the time. One more trip should do it, and by then the uh, and by then the lime should be done. Go harvest the second field. I don't know if it's even worth it to mow this field and then to mow this field here, the pig field, before we um, plow it. I don't think we're gonna get much. We'll see. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing? We enjoying Calms In? How many of you actually played Calms In? I know I'm kind of coming into Calms In late, but I did it on purpose because I wanted to have precision farming ready. But how many people here played, have played Calms In in FS22? I'd like to know. And uh, if you're not in chat and you're watching this in the in the replay, I'd like to know from you too. Let me know in the comments. Have you played Comsden? Are you planning on playing it? And if so, what was your favorite part about it? As of right now, I'm really digging the uh, custom textures. Check the spreader, who is inevitably going to be empty. Oh, he's done.
All right, we're done with that. Um, let's save his course. Field three, save course, activate it. Come to meter. And then we're going to do this. Do that. Look how dirty this thing is. <laughs> Now, did we do all the spreading? We did, let's check precision farming. Nitrogen is good. No idea on the yield. pH is good. And we're good for that. So we can return it. Let's just return it from here. Um, at least those are the only two things we needed the special tires for. Yes. You did a challenge on it and never, never continued when the update was released. Yeah, I'm super, very much, very much enjoying this map right now. Um, and have been since we started playing, like, it's just, I don't know. I mean, and I haven't even gotten into the map. I'm like still on like the first two fields. Like I haven't really gotten into the map. You know what I mean? Is this thing have enough power to run the baler? Who knows how much speed the Vic how much power the Vicon needs? How much how much power does the bike Vicon need? Balers. 150 horsepower. Oh, and small tractors. 142. I could probably run it. Right? Probably. Maybe. Kinda. Sorta. Eh. Alright, let's deliver the pig food. And then we will check on the harvester, which should be done soon. And then we'll harvest the second field and get the har second harvest going. Well, we're actually close on time, so we might not have time for that. Wow, so much to do. We're going to actually be, whoops, still in the same day next time we play, for sure. We barely got the animals started. But we got everyone purchased and set up and almost fed just gonna get some water in there and then everyone will be fed where do i put if i'm gonna get like a water buy point if these three fields are gonna need water where do I put the water buy point? That's the question. Probably put it right by the horse stable. Right? Somewhere easily accessible. Put a water trigger. Do I have any water triggers there? Free ones. <laughs> Construction. Container. No tools nope we could go to the river and we'll go to the river in just a minute when I try to get the first load of water but the rest of it we'll put in a buy point sell point whatever it's called All right, last thing is we're gonna have to pick up some straw and give it to the sh cows. Where does this thing need? Uh, 
This is 516. Let's see if this can run the Baylor. Water, water first. That was the wall. Let's put this one over here. It needs a good wash. Sure. This one can go on the baler. And pick up, start picking up the straw. I like my little shortcut here. This wasn't actually part of the map, something I added in. But that little shortcut really helps getting over to this field. This we're gonna be coming over here all the time. It did make sense to be driving through someone's driveway just to come over here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is this is the magic of course play, in case you guys have never done this before, is we're going to switch over to the harvester, which is still going. We're going to save his course. We're going to call it as field six. And how is our working with 13.6 harvester? So save course, activate for field six. F O six six thirteen point eight meter there back thirteen point oh thirteen point six oh well change mode rename entry F six Thirteen point six. Gosh, really? It's important that I get the names right. <laughs> F six one six. And the harvester is done. Oh. Why are you not going? We're going to have to deal with that header trailer.
But we'll deal with that in a minute. First, we're going to take that off. I really like that header. It looks really cool. It's already black, so I didn't have to redesign it. <laughs> so I come here and just go like that. Why is this opening? Oh, uh, what's going on here? Open door. There it is. There. Open the door. You avoid them at all costs. Well, I wouldn't have been able to get as much stuff done today without force play, so. Do I, can I? All right, am I gonna make it? I doubt it, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I ran over some of the crop. Sorry. Escape. Course play. Oops. Um, great job. Position. Yeah, well, this one also, this this honeybee harvester has a really weird header trailer that I don't know yet if I like it. It's got a little bit of funkiness to it. It's not super easy to use. It's honestly a little frustrating to use. But that said, it is something new and different. So, uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other, you know. Um, now, if I send this baler on the same course as the harvester, he should actually pick up everything. And the baler, because it's the fast bale, should slow down and dump, and it should actually go fast enough to just keep up with running this thing at full speed. And then here, this is our Unimog. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to give the animals a little bit of water. And we're going to call it for the night because we're at the end of our stream here, folks. Yeah, it's a two-piece one. Like, you put, um, like, there's the part that attaches to your truck, not the harvester, to a truck. And then, or tractor. And then there's the part that connects to the header. But the part that connects to the header, it has to be facing a certain way. And it has to be... A really specific way of setting it up um 
which is sometimes not intuitive. What am I going to do with that? Oh my gosh, where's the closest place I can sell milk? I have milk. Why would I have milk? Uh, tag. Where am I going to sell the milk? I've never been to that place. Let's go to that place. Not in the direction we're trying to go, but that's okay. Let's explore the map a little bit. So we're going to go to Farm Store Bay 1, which is up north. So we have to head north from where we are. And that's our cell point. There it is. See the green neon teleporter symbol? <laughs> I think this was the last bit of milk from the other farm. We used to sell the milk at the dairy, the last farm, but here. Is this open automatically? Nope. Interesting. Never been to this cell point. Beacon in the sky. Thank you. Sold. We're already getting an environmental score reward for our products. That's not a very big reward, but any reward is a reward. But what's our environmental score up to? Where's the button? Here it is. Hey, our environmental score is up to 72 already. Look at me go. 72. And we haven't even, and we've only, haven't finished harvesting that other field. Look at me go. Wait for what translations? Does Giants not do a great job of proofreading translations? All right, we need to find water. Now, from what I understand from other people's videos, there's water in this direction. So down here, Whoa, that was almost a crash. That should be a water point right there. This right here should be a water fill point. There should be water in it. That would be awesome. I'm going to do that. I 
I see a river. We're heading there now. Need that auto gate open thing. <laughs> Badly. How deep is this river? It's probably deep enough to drown in. Okay, who needs water? Let's look at the animals. Who needs water? So pigs need water. Chickens do not need water. And the sheep need water. So the pigs and the sheep. Oh, that's a good question. You know what? Next time I fill up fifth, fifth gen, I will check. German translations, oh yeah. They're usually a pretty bad stickler about those German translations too. Oh, that's all you have left to do is German translations? That's what Google translates for. What are their standard like three? They want German, French, and English, right? Like those are the ones that they block mods on not having those three. You can obviously have more, but those are the three that they require, right? I think this truck is perfect for this map. Awesome. So what kind of tracks are you working on, Keith? I'd love to know. I mean, if you're already at the translation stage and you're almost ready to submit, that's that's pretty exciting. All right, we gave the sheep some water and let's go give the pigs some water. And then that's enough to get them going in producing whatever they're gonna produce. So let's do that. Oh, I wonder if the, these, I don't think they do. For the sheep, because it's a pasture, there's probably not going to be any slurry, is there? Yeah, I think I'm going to do with the same thing that 
I'm probably gonna do the same thing that what's his name did and just make that into one field. The extra fence in the middle is so arbitrary. Well, we're down to $46,000. We did get our first day's harvest done. And the rest of it is just actually using our equipment a bit more. We're not going to save this course. We're going to clear it. We're going to get a little closer to the walls. Now we know all the things we got to do. You know, that's half the fun of a new map is figuring out what like you need to do to that map to make it playable the way you want to play it. Right. And every map is going to be different. Every map is going to have different kind of, I guess, qualifications. And that's that's half the fun of me for me is seeing all of this stuff in all these maps. Really? Why is there a fence inside the fence? It's kind of strange, don't you think? Shouldn't need that fence in the corner there. There we go. And since I'm defining field while I mow, that's now going to define this field as a little bit bigger. And also while I mow this section here is actually going to define that this section is included as part of the field so that next time I mow with course play, I can save the course. Well, there we go, folks. That's it for tonight. That's us with our new mower. Let's let's take those labels and make them black. Anyways, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, a Deuce 9. Oh, awesome. I'm looking forward to that. I love the Deuce and the Deuce 9. The Deuce 9. I've seen a couple mods for it. None of them have been very great, but I can't wait to see that. Keith, that's going to be super awesome. Um, Deuce is one of my favorite tractors. So, yeah. But anyways, everyone who's here, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for helping me get to Comson and helping me get to 100, um, 100 uh, subscriptions. Like, we're getting close. We're just going to keep going. We've got 135 views tonight. That's a ton. That's a ton. So 
thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back next Wednesday with a bit more of Comms and Farms. And until then, bye-bye.